starting. So I now connected the, um, <laughs> the Arduino here to a USB cable where I broke out the plus wire. So the VCC, the 5 volt which comes through the USB cable um, is broken out here and passes through my multimeter which is in the milliamp setting. And currently right now the microcontroller uses 11.6 milliamps. Um, I'm not sure exactly what code is running but I plan to upload the button press code which we had before today. So I start a new project here in Atmel Studio with the 80 mega 32U4. I take our lab code number two, control C, uh, <laughs> control C, Control V, um, which uses the uh, pin change interrupt to actually interrupt the uh, sleep mode and go back to normal operation. And let's start by actually setting this to the idle mode. And I will try to write down the current values here. So idle. Um, I compile the code and I have to find the new hex file because I started a new project. Here's the hex file. I um, have to press the right button. Program. Oops. Ah, yeah, it, it's obviously. Uh, now it's COM9, of course, why, why shouldn't it be COM9 this time? Oops. Oh yeah, okay, 208. So, and actually now in idle mode, we are down to 8.4 milliamps. It's in idle mode. If I press the button here, we see uh, how the current consumption goes up a bit, but that's also because the LEDs are on. Um, but this is the current which the microcontroller still... Oh, now it went up to 9 milliamps. No, 8.5. 8.5 milliamps in idle mode. Um, let's try instead the power down mode. And try to find our maybe I'll do it here program. And you couldn't see it before either, didn't you? No, that, that's good. Uh, <laughs> okay, we repeat the procedure. Um, yes, so this is live. And thank you for being here as an audience because I would probably not have noticed this mistake. Um, so I put it back into the uh, idle mode here and compile the code. And uh, now the code is compiled and uh, I'll upload it and then I switch over to the display. So we program the code like this and we transition here and we have 8.4. 8.5 sometimes milliamps on the meter. Uh, and when I press the white button here, we see how it jumps up, but that's also because the LEDs are on. Uh, so it, it's hard to tell and the, the actual difference of what it would use in active mode, but it would probably be the 16 milliamps or so, which we saw before. Um, so 8 milliamps when the code execution is stopped, but everything, everything other is still running inside the CPU. Um, now, if we go back into the code and instead set or choose the power down mode for sleep mode, compile the code, upload the code, and have a look at the multimeter. Now we're down at 1.6 milliamps. 
and actually 1.7 milliamps perhaps 1.7 milliamps actually about 1 milliamp of these 1.7 milliamps is the green led here which, which is still on, of course. And, and of course, this LED goes through the same cable as, so, so the power for this LED comes from here. Um, when I now press the button here, we also see that the, cur the total current increases, but since it's only a very short active time, um, we, we don't see it so much. Um, I don't think that we will get much below this value of 1.7 milliamps here. But let's try if, if what happens if we choose the power save or the standby mode. I actually have no idea. Um, hi, Eric. And so we put it here and we compile and we upload. And the new code is running. And we see it's the same 1.6, 1.7 milliamps. So this was the power safe was the name, I think. I show you the code again. It was a power safe. So this was power down and this was power safe 1.7 milliamps. And then we still have, we have the last one here, mode standby. Um, I have no idea if there's any difference. I wouldn't expect it to be a difference. So we compile this code. We upload this code. <laughs> Another interesting thing I will show you in a second. Um, now that we have it. Oh, this, this one is higher in consumption. So at this mode, at the standby mode, we have 1.9. milliamps what i didn't do so far is i didn't make sure that the input pins are not floating uh, so i i will try more things to actually reduce the power more but the current the biggest part of the co power consumption right now is still this led which is about a milliamp at least passing through this led i could actually do i want to do that no i don't think so I, I was thinking about actually taking out uh, breaking away this LED, but nah, I, I will not do that now. Um, so yeah, but what I wanted to show you is the power consumption, the current consumption when programming a new code into the microcontroller. And uh, this is uh, actually was quite interesting. I saw it. When, when I programmed it, so, so I put it into program mode. Um, now we are at 12, 13 milliamps, and now I will actually, now I'm actually programming, and now it exceeds the range when it actually flashes the new code into the microcontroller. I would have to switch to 200 milliamps on the multimeter. And let's see how much current goes there when it actually is programming the microcontroller. Oh, it's, it's quite exactly 20 milliamps, um, but this is the highest power consumption so far. Now, if we take the same code and don't put the microcontroller to sleep, but we don't switch on the, LED, the other LED either, because that would also affect uh, what's happening. So now it is not idling, it actually has to execute some code. And uh, just to have this as a kind of a baseline, um, let's see what happens. I, I show you the code then, because I just noticed that I didn't switch the camera again. <laughs> Program the code. Programming 22 milliamps. Now we are at normal uh, code operation and we are at 11.4 milliamps. So normal. It, it just jumped to 12, let's say 12 milliamps, um, something like this. Um, it, it's a bit changing. If I now put it into the, uh, it, it still goes into the interrupt service routine, of course, um, 
but uh, it, it's never sleeping. So that's why we also don't, well, I, I just commented out this this code. So if you just have a look at what, what I did is I commented out the switch on of the second LED here in the main loop and I commented out the sleep of the LED here. Um, but so 11 milliamps as normal operation current uh, when it's just running through code even though it's it's not much code it, it's a, the delay loop here and it's uh, some port operation um, but still so 11 milliamps is a normal consumption and we get it down to 1.7 milliamps but this is still because of if you want a real system which is sleeping don't put an led there which is always on <laughs>